kindly uh, see uh, page number thirty seven. Case of responder, she is not a legally wedded wife. Yes, my lord. According to her, during the subsistence of the first marriage. She say it's not like that. She says that she is aware of the first marriage. Where did she say? She says, my lord. Uh, in the present case, petitioners had filed application to direct the respondent to undergo DNA test. Lord, this is a matter where. How much is the amount granted? Lord, uh, rupees th six thousand each to the mother and the son, my lord. That's twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. What is the income of the husband? Lord, the income of the husband is stated to be sixty thousand rupees. According to him. Lord, according to him also sixty thousand. Then why can't he pay twelve? Lord, the dispute is with regard to the relationship itself. Lord, was it decided by the court? That that issue was not gone into, my lord. May I just uh, draw my lord's kind attention to page number twenty-five. Relationship with whom? With the wife or uh, the, the relationship of with the, the respondents, my lord? Both the respondents. Both the respondents. Admittedly, my lord, uh, the uh, petitioner herein is married to some other person in the year nineteen ninety-five itself. That issue has been answered by the uh, trial court in the affirmative. Therefore, my lord. Few important points, my lord. Page number twenty-five. Let's read. The petitioners have contended that petitioner number one is the wife and petitioner number two is the son of the respondent. According to the petitioners, the marriage of the petitioner number one with the respondent was performed according to Hindu customs and usage on eight three two thousand five at Sri Goravana Halli Lakshmi Temple, Kurutgere Taluk, and said marriage was a love marriage and was performed in presence of Shrimati. Kempamma and Lakshmamma. Therefore, according to the respondent number one, this marriage took place in the year two thousand five. Now, my lord, may kindly turn to page number twenty nine, paragraph number eleven. This is filed with the petitioner. They are referring to is the wife. Yes, uh, petitioner has contended that the, the wife, and accordingly, the marriage Mar married in the year two thousand five. Now, kindly see uh, page number twenty nine, my lord. We'll continue. We'll continue reading it so that we'll understand. Yes, ma'am. Yes. It is also contended that at the time of marriage, the brother-in-law of the first petitioner, by name Kempanna, had given a cash of rupees twenty-five thousand to the respondent, and had given golden ornaments to the petitioner number one. This contention of the petitioners is also totally denied by the respondent. On the other hand, respondent has denied the relationship with the petitioners and contended that petitioners are strangers to him. Petition uh, petitioner number one. Examined herself as PW one by way of filing affidavit has reiterated the petition averment. Come to par eleven. Ah, uh, par eleven. In this background, I have gone through the documentary evidence adduced by the parties, which may help the court to ascertain the relationship between the parties. Exhibit R one to four, six to thirty, fifteen to seventeen shows that respondent had married one Bagyamma on one six nineteen ninety five itself. Above document shows that. Respondent and said Shrimati Bagyama are the legally wedded husband and wife. Said documents also shows that respondent through Bagyama had two sons, Harish N, who was born on five six nineteen ninety six, and Praveen Kumar N, who was born on twenty five five nineteen ninety nine. Therefore, even if the version in the petition that petitioner number one had married the respondent on eight three two thousand five is accepted, said marriage during the subsistence of marriage of the respondent with Bagyama. Is not a valid marriage, and petitioner number one cannot be held to be legally wedded wife of the respondent. What is the judgment of the apex court which they are referring to? My lord, as per the judgment of the apex court, my lord, the proof of marriage uh, cannot be gone into in a maintenance petition. That is the gist, my lord. But how, however, according to the statement of the respondent number one he, here herself, that uh, she is uh, not the legally wedded wife, my lord. Maintenance could not have been awarded. Uh, further, my lord, uh, kindly see. Uh, page number thirty-seven. Case of respondent, she is not a legally wedded wife. Yes, my lord. According to her, during the subsistence of the first marriage, she said it's not like that. She says that she is aware of the first marriage. Where did she say? She says, my lord. Where is it recorded? Yes, my lord. I'll just point. Uh, kindly see page number thirty-seven, my lord. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yes. Paragraph number seventeen. Mm. In the background of above principles, I have gone through the oral and documentary evidence adduced by the parties. P W one in our evidence admits thus: Baswana gudi palle the Gangu Hanumaya embu varo nanna ganda embu udu. That's again in English. It is written. Yes, pal. Uh, and uh, page number thirty-eight, mala. 
Second lie. However, while admitting the said aspect of PW1 has clarified that respondent was knowing well that she was married that Ganga Anumaya and after death of said Ganga Anumaya, respondent has married her. Further, PW1 has admitted that Adivasa Yaude Shastra Acharnegalu Madhve Kalake Nedududilla Adivasa Yadurudarur Kevala Thali Anu Katirutar. Therefore, during the subsist and uh, further, my lord, uh, at page number 44, kindly see para number 24. So, 49, page number 39, above para 18. Yes, ma'am. Therefore, oral evidence adduced by the petition is not sufficient to hold that there was a valid marriage and yes. respondent, which is so and so, yes. has to see whether there is any other documentary evidence which supports the contention of the petitioner. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Next, 18, para 18. Para 18. Hmm. So far as oral evidence of respondent is concerned, respondent who has examined as RW1 has totally denied the allegations of the petitioners about the marriage. So far as evidence of RW2 and 3 is concerned, they say that respondent was married to one Bhagyamma and they have not seen the petitioners and they have no relationship with the respondent. RW2 having said that he has not seen the petitioners in the cross-examination state that cast of petitioner number 1. Therefore, version of RW2 that he has not seen the petitioners proved to be false. In fact, uh, at uh, page number 44, para number 24, my lord, an application was also made seeking uh, uh, DNA test. The trial court has not undertaken the same alert. And uh, at uh, page uh, page number 50, para number 31. Yes, filed the other cards and other, uh, and other things. Yes. Where the husband, this person is shown as a husband? This person's name is shown. But however, my lord, uh, the subsistence of the earlier marriage is clearly admitted. Bhagya, and uh, further, my lord, may I just uh, point out one document from the earlier petitions, my lord. Earlier, at first instance, Pilot, she had filed a petition, similar petition, against the petitioner herein. And she had withdrawn the said petition, Pilot, saying that she does not want to prosecute. Which year is this? This petition is filed in there, 2005. Yes, Pilot. She had filed a memo and withdrawn. And uh, this is again uh, the second petition, playing mischief upon the petitioner, Pilot. Definitely, it is not as uh, simple as your uh, client is putting forth that. Um, Millard, uh, clearly, Millard, the statements made by her and her uh, conduct of earlier uh, filing a petition, withdrawing, clearly shows that. And further, Millard, uh, the marriage... Uh, 20th, para number 20, exhibit P1 is Aadhaar card of petitioner number 1. Yes, para 20. Is school admission register. Exhibit P1 is the Aadhaar card of the petitioner number 1 in which the name of husband is shown as Narsim Murthy. Exhibit P2 is the other card and Exhibit P3 is the school admission register extract of petitioner number 2 which shows that name of father of petitioner number 2 is Narsim Murthy. Further, the age of the boy? Blood, uh, age of the boy is shown to be 13 years. Blood. 13 years. Blood, uh, once so, the, he must have been joined in the school. There must have been some records pertaining to him. The, my Lord, her statement that she is married to one Ganga Hanumaya falsifies so, the please, document. You have to be very clear. Yes. Two things. One is that you have no relationship with her or she is not your legally wedded wife. As such, she is not entitled for maintenance under 125. So, once it's your case that she is not a legally wedded wife, but your client had a relation with her and uh, he is your son. It is... Um, my Lord, I am not saying that she is not the legally wedded wife. The uh, trial court has come to the conclusion that... No, you say that uh, you, you never knew her. Yes, my lord. She is a stranger. According to uh, the petitioner, she is a stranger, my lord. And she herself goes to say that she is married to one Ganga uh, Hanumaya. She says after, the, after that, uh, you married her. Yes, my lord. But uh, my lord, uh, the trial court having come to the conclusion that relationship is not true, was uh, required to direct her to go and get a declaration that she is the wife, my lord. Having not uh, taken uh, that exercise, having not considered the application for DNA test, Millard, fastening the liability... your application for that? I'm sorry, Millard. Where was your application for that? During the pendency of the case, Millard. Was it uh, recorded by the court? Yes, Millard. Para number 24. Page number 44, Millard. Page, 40, number? page number 44, para number 24. Uh, in the present case, petitioners had filed application to direct the respondent to undergo DNA test. This yes, application was opposed by respondent. The petition is agreed with orders passed in 